that that's the guidelines that we follow. Coming to a very common and extremely life-threatening um, emergency in respiratory, which if not handled in time and not handled well, patient can die. And if handled well, patient can actually be back home on his feet within 24 hours. So anaphylaxis, it is the medical emergency which requires absolute immediate attention. And the patient may present to you in anaphylactic shock with vascular collapse, breathlessness. And it may actually be sometimes be uh, very quick to occur. So especially for patients who are allergic to something, they'll consume it. And within minutes, they'll be probably having complaints. Sometimes may not even get the time to present to an emergency. And hence, if they do, do not lose any time and deal with them as early as possible, identify depending upon the history and start the treatment. Fatality from anaphylactic shock, uh, though uncommon, but it can occur if treatment is not initiated in time, uh, mostly because of cardiovascular collapse and sometimes airway obstruction, which are the two most common complications that they, these people face and may even lead to their mortality. Anaphylaxis, when you're dealing with anaphylaxis, of course, there are three criteria. A, it is going to be an absolute acute onset. These usually minutes. These people may even have history of allergies. When you examine them, they may have certain other things which may be, you know, pointing towards allergies, which could be hives, pruritus, flushing. They may have swollen lips or tongue. They may have strider. They may have bronchospasm. Uh, they may have low BP. They may be drowsy, and uh, that's how they basically present to you. Sometimes these patients may also give you history of abdominal pain or vomiting or cramps because of something that they've eaten, which is part of the allergic reaction. Uh, low BP is, again, a very common finding, and uh, all this can happen within minutes to hours, of course, because of the release of a lot of uh, mast cell and um, related chemicals. We've discussed the uh, clinical manifestations coming to management. Most important has to be quick. The backbone of management usually is epinephrine. So people who basically know that they're allergic or have, are prone to anaphylaxis may even actually be carrying epinephrine or adrenaline pens with them. A shot of uh, adrenaline intramuscular, first thing, of course, IV steroids may sometimes be high dose, which they may need for 24 hours to sometimes even seven days. Uh, bronchodilators to ease their airway congestion, antihistaminics, and of course, to maintain uh, blood pressure and other things, we need IV fluids. So IV access is most important. And by the time you get an IV access, if the patient is sick, just give them a shot of IM or subcutaneous epinephrine. So that's what they basically need. <laughs>